Welcome back to Dredge, where the early bird gets the Eldritch Worm, probably. I don't know. Most likely there's uh, something out there that's hunting us, waiting to sink its teeth into our lovely, uh, our lovely boat here. I did want to stop by and just check on our friend the Builder one more time. I, I gotta think that there's something more that she could do for us, right? And if not, then maybe we just did a nice thing for a nice lady, and that's all there is to it, you know? Okay. Yep, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Which is annoying, because I really want refined steel, but I guess she is not the one to give it to us. But uh, today we are going to go into the Twisted Strand. Uh, I do want to stop by here real quick and just check out the Sitch. Ooh. This is the first time we're seeing another boat out here. Okay. Um, got some dredge here. And here. And there. Okay. Well, good thing that we've come across this, hey? Alright, well. This might be a uh, productive broken monocle. Great. Hello, it's me. Your friend. Other fishermen, you pull, a lot, pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Hello, it's me. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? Mm, just uh, one of you, presumably. Fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you are okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. Uh, I guess I could find time to d do a delivery. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Addressed to the dock worker at Little Marrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods and don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Hmm. So the lighthouse keeper is always, well not always, recently said, hey, you know, for there's always an alternative path if you're not sure about something. I wonder, should we maybe go visit her with this and, like, get her two cents? Is what I'm wondering. Because if there's something sus being delivered, um, she would be the person I would trust the most, I feel like. I don't know why. Um, but I get the feeling she's like the most trustworthy person to maybe handle something of a dubious nature. So, okay. So, <laughs> I guess we're going to go ahead and backtrack a little bit just to see what uh, she might have to say. I guess we should do some fishing along the way to make it worth our while, huh? I don't know, maybe like something here. Oh, this is not stuff that I need right now. Uh, Oceanic. Yep, still don't have that. Many-eyed mackerel. That was my nickname in college. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, Alright. Ooh, and... Uh, there's another variant here to pick up, it looks like. Alright, well, I'm at capacity, so that will just have to wait. 
Okay, Lighthouse Keeper. Can I show you this package? Or maybe you just don't care. There's always the possibility. Yeah, I've been finding relics for the Collector. What do you think about that? Relics? Collector? I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Do you even know? Have you stopped to consider it? Yes. So, what should I do? <laughs> okay. Uh, apparently, she doesn't care. Uh, I'll sell our stuff to you. Let's spend the night. Now, I have to keep in mind, we do have this new ability from the Collector, which banishes evil. Uh, where is it? This one right here. Banishing words can dispel most evils for a time. I'm wondering, is that worth venturing out a little bit later for? You know? Like, we probably don't need to be uh, super paranoid if we've got, like, a little bit of a defensive measure. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's building us up to be able to be equipped for, like, all-nighters, which is... Uh, maybe... Maybe could be useful. Alright, so the dock worker, huh? How's the day treating you? Mm. Got a package here for you. Delivery, eh? It's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you. Or compensation. Well, that's just rude. Um. Okay. Interesting. We delivered the package. Curious, but I won't open it. Yeah. I don't know what the alternative was to delivering it. Like, I don't... I don't know if there was a way for us... I guess we could have always just discarded it, maybe, and then just never delivered it, but... I don't know if that was the right... That would be the right thing to do, either. Alright, anyway. So, back to our previously scheduled foray that I had mentioned before. Uh, we should probably make for... the, uh, the only kind of, uh, sign of life around here. More oceanic. The, uh, the sign of life, which I presume is that first dot on the map. Which hopefully is our friend the merchant. Always a sight for sore eyes. Um, slightly to the left. Yeah, that looks like her there. I guess while we're here, we should see if there's anything new that we haven't uh, encountered yet. Oh, one right in front of us, as a matter of fact. A viper fish. Okay. What else? Oceanic, can't catch that one. Blue mackerel. Uh, what about over there? Gray mullet, oceanic. Yeah, I think we're... We're good. And who knows, maybe, um... Approaching her in this new location will open up new... Abilities, or... Or opportunities, I don't know. Gray mullet. I guess we may, uh, may as well just catch a few of these to make it worth our while. Oh, a little early. Very interesting catching method. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing perfect. Alright, that should do it. Now, this is ominous. Okay. <sighs> I'll still buy fish that aren't totally fresh, but if it's completely turned to rot, I can't pay you anything for it. That's fair. I don't need you to, uh... Pay for, for, for bad fish. Alright, 350 is what we're at right now. 
Um, what are we shooting for right now? Oh, I guess we could get the next best light. Ooh, incandescent array. Wow. 391, but we don't have the light slots for it, I don't think. Got these explosives. Yeah. We're not quite there yet. We could afford this tungsten floodlight and replace our halogen floodlight. Uh, I guess... Well, how close are we to getting new... Um, no, not that one. New lighting. Not all that close. 800, man. Plus the two uh, refined metals is tough. Very, very tough. Hull can sustain one additional impact. That would be nice. That would be nice. Now, so she'll sell it to us for 450. That's that's crazy. But um, that might be what we have to do to survive around here. Bees, man. All right, I guess we should just save for now, huh? Uh, let's just do a little bit of exploration. All right, there's a crashed, uh, like, British airplane in there is what it looks like. Huh, very interesting. More gray mullets. All right, not really worth our time, I feel like. Oh, is this our first mangrove fish? I think it is, a sergeant fish. At your service. All right, we can get one more. Oh, come on. All right, well, that was a bust. But we'll uh, make a little bit of money. I wonder what exactly the point of the foghorn is. Since we're not really encountering other boats in the wild, you know? Mm. Alright, sell all of those. 460, okay, we're doing alright. Maybe we want to go ahead and purchase this refined metal as much as it hurts me and send it to storage so that we don't lose it overboard. That's the risk with carrying too much stuff is that if I bump into anything I can uh, I can lose it overboard. So let's rest and then we'll start our uh, island exploring. Okay. Look, there's a few airplanes around here. Oh, haha. <laughs> Did not even notice this. I should. Whoa. Okay. Uh, that seems bad. Let's avoid that. Yeah, panic is right, man. Here, why don't we switch to this? There we go. Be gone. I feel like we're safe now, right? Wait, what is this? No. Okay. That was less than ideal. I feel like these things sell for a decent price, so we'll hang on to that. Alright, is that guy going to be a regular... Uh, problem for us. There's some dredge over there. Um, there's a new fish type over there. There's the airplane there. Huh. Ooh. Okay. A gar. Let's head in here and... Ooh, there's there's birds. What is this? Oh, Sergeant Fish lost to the birds. How do I... How do I get through? Okay. Here we go. 
No, I don't want to do that. I want to look at this. A mortar barrel. Huh. A long barrel with an attached sight. Is that something I just sell? Or... Can I actually shoot stuff with it? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Alright. Uh, let's venture a little bit farther, I guess. Not too long. Alright, that's our way out over there. Mushrooms. Oop, there's a message. I would like to get that. Oh, okay. Don't crash into the mushrooms, apparently. Ooh, something added to the cabin. Question mark, question mark. It feels like years since I have been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I have written him another letter. This will be the last one. I wonder if it's... Is this, this might be crazy. But is this the lighthouse keeper writing to the collector? You know? Can't help but wonder. All right, ooh. Um, we're in a bit of a pickle here. We're in the... Let's zoom in a little bit. This is probably not where we want to be right at this particular moment. So we might want to turn around, turn right, and then turn left. This is what I think we will do. In here. Okay. And then... Is this correct? Nope. Turn right again. Oh boy. Crashing into mushrooms again. Uh, this is the way. Yeah. Whew! Okay, that was a little dicey. Not gonna lie. Just a tad bit dicey. Alright. Okay, and I wonder what the deal with the crashed planes is, too. Alright, selling those fish. This mortar barrel, probably send it to storage, right? Um, is there anything we need to repair? That's my question. Uh, no, everything is ship shape. Let's rest until four something. Yep, that works. And then let's try to make progress. And I'll try not to be distracted. So we pretty much just want to go straight on. Is what it looks like, yeah. And let's get this um, banishment thing ready. Just in case. Yeah, there, there they are. I see you. No, you will not have my soul. There's another message in a bottle over there. Uh oh Can I make it through here? Yes, I can. Alright. What do we have here? A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> Stranger. From that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys called them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until after I've avenged my squadron. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed all the crashed planes. A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here, under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection. 
Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by fiends in the forest. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? For sure, my friend. I figured you'd be up for it. You have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Then we'll use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the positive crash sites on your map. You go and see what you could salvage. Um, yeah, let's ask lots of questions. Because I have many. What am I, uh, how will you honor your squad mates? I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand, I never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I would add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one in good faith. I'll give you more for each tag you bring me. Yes, please. I will gladly take that. Uh, are there any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks? No, anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. And then the mind suckers I'm a little nervous about. Mm. Devilish creatures through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloody scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Got it. I think we're tracking everything. Um, research, you know what we'll do? We'll pop this last one into this winch. So now it will be available for sale and we can get uh, oceanic stuff, which will be super duper awesome. All right, let's check out the map. So we already recovered one of the mortar pieces, and the other one is just around the corner. That's actually not too far. And this is the perfect time. It's six, uh, seven in the morning. And if we just go careful and slow, then uh, we should be fine. Alright, what do we have here? A pile of loose debris. This is why we bring the explosives, I'm telling you. That is why you buy explosives. Feels good, man. Feels good. Alright. Tattered receipt. We're, uh, we've read quite a few of these. We're on 9 out of 12 already. Goldsmith and Son, number 27, Little Marrow. December 22nd, 1926. So this is before any of these letters, it looks like. Received the sum of $50.00 in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes. Received a further $3.00 for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, December 23rd, for collection. Engraving is to be as follows. For J, my shining star. Hmm... I still can't help but think that the lighthouse keeper and the uh, the collector were a thing once, and then they got separated somehow. Lost love and all that. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, let's get the mortar first. I'm on the right track, right? Yeah, it's like slightly to the right, so probably through here. It's like, ev oh yeah, there it is, right in front of me. Like, every little movement counts back here. I don't want to get caught somewhere not ideal. Ooh, this is taking us quite a bit of time. The mortar frame, okay. Ooh, so you know what? That means we're probably going to have to go back to the entrance to get the mortar itself because we threw it in storage, didn't we? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need this metal right now. Let's back up carefully. 
Uh, is this the fastest way out? Mm, no, we'll probably have to just go back through the middle. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, we're banishing stuff right now. <laughs> I guess it never hurts to be safe, huh? Now that locked behind us, which is... Oh, I see. It keeps going up and down. Um... All right. I keep seeing those little, uh, that little bit of, like, uh, these fire lamp posts. Are they dog tags? Because I felt like I, I've gone up to them before and haven't gotten anything off of them, right? Let me just, um, or they're just signposts that he's put up. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can actually do anything with those. I'm worried to uh, swim underneath this. That looks... Ooh. There's that right there. Alright, uh, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Okay. Yeah, enough of that. Um, so we need to get the mortar out of storage. Uh, where was it? Here we go. Mortar right here. There we are. And then we might as well find something nearby to, um, to fish just to spend the rest of our time out here. And then tomorrow morning, we'll go back in and, um, and visit him again. Just make a little extra cash, you know? Alright, I don't want to totally expend it. Uh, is there another one nearby? There's one over there. You could shoot for. Ooh. Nice. An entwined mullet. Okay. Let's sell this off. Spend the night. Ooh, we should probably spend our research parts too. Oh no, never mind, we already spent it. Um, so just selling off our stuff. There we go, 111. Cool, we'll spend the night. We'll wake up at... 4. Oh, there we go. That was not what I meant to get up. It was a little bit later than I meant. But let's head back. Yeah, so there's that guy right there. Our movement is going to attract him, but you know what? By the time he sees where we are, we are long gone. And uh, let's turn off the light. I don't want to use up too much of it. All right, we got the pieces, as you requested. How are things going? I found the parts of the mortar. There you go. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. Oh, there was a phase two? You didn't tell me that. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. And that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. Hmm. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it. Uh, <laughs> how, yeah, how do we get them into them? Do, we, do they just have to chase me or what? They're attracted to some very specific types of bait. Your skills will come in handy here yet again. Have you got everything? Uh, what type of bait? Well, maybe he'll tell me. Is it safe? Yeah, it's probably not safe. Of course not. Have you got everything? <laughs> okay, that was a that was a laconic answer. Uh, how did you make those traps? With patience. The creatures only see, seemed to sense movement, so when everyone was close, I froze. All right, so we need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Oh, of course, recipes. All right, the bait for the first one. This one takes three fish from the area to make. 
Alright, I will work on it. I don't have all the fish for that bait yet. Come back when you got the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The bait for the second one. I wish it told me what they were. Maybe I've never caught them before. And the bait for the last one. Need two. Ooh. I don't even know what those ones are. Got it. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, where do I put it? Yeah, put them in the traps. Clearly. Uh, Alright, I think that is it. So... Uh, hopefully our cabin... Well, first of all, let's see. Uh, advanced fishing, we're still reading that. Pursuits. Trap the mine suckers. I need to place the special bait. I wish it told me what the bait was. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of tough. I almost feel like I want to take a take a picture of that with my phone, you know, of like what the the profiles are, just so that I know, like, which ones to shoot for, I guess. All right, where is he? He's right there. If I'm doing this, does this count as movement? Technically standing still. Alright, another broken monocle. Guess we're okay. Uh, let's see if anything grabs our eye. A gar. We definitely need a gar. Alright, I don't I don't see where the gut where the uh our pal went. He's around somewhere though. Uh did we need a sergeant fish? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Kinda challenging. Well, we certainly don't have the other types. Uh, Alright, well, those are where the traps are. That much is clear. So maybe if we go in here... Something... Oh, there he is. Alright, we'll just stop moving real quick. Is he gonna... Is he gonna move locations? All right, he's gone for the moment. Another gar, there's some dredge in there, another sergeant fish. There's some dredge in there, another sergeant fish. Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? All right, uh, let's do this. Banishment. I don't know if that will help. I assume so. Alright, well that was our get out of jail free card. Okay, we should probably be heading back for the night at this point. Let's just check our map to make sure we get out of here okay. Um, slightly to the left. I hear him. I don't see him though. Oh, there he is, back there. I'm not moving. Alright, I think we're okay. And then, yeah, to the right. Alright, we're just going to motor out of here at this point. See ya. Okay. 
And I'm gonna not sell the fish. I'm saying it out loud so that I don't. Because we need it for, uh, for our friend. We'll put this in storage, put that in storage. And now we can buy this Fathomless Winch, which catches all the type of fish that we want. We could sell this for 247. That would get me to 300, 400. 675. Okay, we'll st we still need to wait a little while before we can afford that. But at that point, we'll basically be able to afford... Uh, or be able to catch pretty much anything, which is really great. Alright, let's rest. Um... I'm going to get started a little bit earlier than usual because I want to maybe do a circuit around here. Ooh, hello. I did not see that before. Uh, I wanted to see if any of the types of fish from the recipe jumped out at me. Oh, is this one of the, uh, one of the dog tags maybe? I bet you it is. A dog tag for a research part is what I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. And then this is probably some kind of material that we don't need. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else do we have back here? There's another uh, crashed ship there. Uh, this looks like a research part. Oh! Oh, gosh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's a tricky one. Okay, that definitely made me work for it. And, oh, yikes. Oh, wow, okay. Crabs that look like ships. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Well played, sir. Extremely well played. Uh, alright. Now I'm like, am I a crab? There's no way to know, I guess. <laughs> okay, well. After that little disconcerting encounter, um. Let's spyglass it up. More gray mullets. That's not what I need. Uh, I guess I should maybe learn a lesson from from previously and just look through my encyclopedia for um, what type of fish I need to catch. Uh, go to, what are we, Twisted Strand. Okay. Uh, so we need these. Um, these are at night. Got it. So these are some type of eels that we need to catch at night. These are night uh, fish too. Oh boy. Alright. Got it. So, a couple of these catfish are at night. And this eel is at night as well. So we're just going to have to uh, spend a very uncomfortable night on the sea. Uh... It's, you know, it's obviously forcing us to try to find all of these to try to, to get us to use our, uh, our abilities as much as possible, which I respect. Let's make our way over to whatever this, uh, rickety bridge looking thing is. And we're going to stay here late because we need to be able to find whatever types of fish, uh, are part of that recipe. campsite. You see a campsite. Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A pile of fabric is gathered at the base of a large tree nearby. We'll inspect the fish. Rotten fish hang from the spit. The fire below had been prepared. Someone must have left in a hurry. What do you want to do? Um, check the fabric. Nest of rags lies at the base of the tree. Someone slept here. The rags are covered in dark 
uh, in bark chips, there are symbols carved into the tree trunk above. There are three distinct set of symbols. There's a book symbol underneath a wave, and then an upwards arrow. A cloud hangs over it all. Okay. A book symbol underneath a wave, and then an upwards arrow. Does that mean that there's a book under the water if I go north under a cloud? Okay, let's look at the second set. Five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of a person is lying down in the center. Well, there are five locations, um, like five main continents, if you will, in this area. So could that be the pentagram? Okay, and then the last one. A book symbol sits above a wave. A downwards arrow points from the book down through the wave. What? Okay. Um, did that get recorded in my... In my quests? No. Did not. Interesting. It's so strange. Okay. Well, the, the nice thing is that we can retreat here if... Um, if things become a little bit too hairy for us here at night. All right, so now we just need it to get dark. Oh, and there's our buddy right there waiting for us. We're gonna let you do your thing. And we'll venture in here, but we'll try to stay Close-ish to the entrance. Maybe just like do laps. Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones we need. Really? A long fin eel. Okay, um, might have to do some rearranging here to fit multiple of them is what I mean. I could put one there and then I could put the second one here, yeah. Okay, there we go. Those are the two that I need. So I'm going to have to do this in... Uh, well, let's see. How much? How close am I to my buddy, the the uh, the airman? You know what? Maybe we should be brave for once, and uh, let's turn on our lights. Maybe we'll just venture through here, and uh, let's just try to make it. I really don't want to spend another night. You know, we like we we could play it safe. Probably the advisable course of action. Look how the mushrooms are glowing, man. It's weird. You can see the lighthouse still through there. That's nice. Alright, so we need to go slightly left and then a hard right. In here, right? Yes. Okay, oh, we're back by the uh, the entrance. I know where we are. Okay, we'll take it slow. Uh-oh. I hear him. I don't see him, though. It's safe. Safe is relative. Okay. I think we might have made it. And let's check out what this type of fish is. Alright, there's another one of those. I guess we could have just waited here for the night, huh? Oops. Again, not what I meant to do. Alright, that's fine. Alright, first recipe. Oh, uh, yeah, I found some dog tags. There you go, there's one of them. Thank you. 
I'll hang them on the tree. Here, as promised. Thank you very much. Uh, talk about baiting the traps. I have the bait for... Not that one. For the third one, I think. Yes. There's one. There's two. That should do it. I'll just mix these in. Here. Load this into a trap and get well clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that the thing's really dead, you hear? Foul-smelling mixture of fish and something else. The airman says this should attract the beasts in Twisted Strand. I should be careful. Yes, I should. Alright, no, I think I'm good to go. Maybe we should use our research points real quick uh, while we have them. So we're just about maxed out. Um, yeah, we don't need to do... We don't need to get this one. Coastal Shallow and Oceanic. Yeah, because this Versatile Rod will do it. And this Fathomless Winch will do it. So we're good on rods from here on out. We could get the Twin Jet Drive. Twin Jet Drive Engine. That's tough to say. And honestly, I do think that's the best use of our points. Because these Pots and Nets... Pots and Nets and Pots and Nets uh, are not... They're not things that we're really using a whole lot, to be honest. So I say... We go big, baby, with the uh, this engine. There we go. We're halfway there. And uh, what the heck. I think we've got time. Let's go ahead and bait our uh, trap. An explosive finale. Something slithers into your cargo hold. Uh-oh. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. What does that mean? What do you mean something slithers into my cargo hold? An infected. Ooh. Uh, let's discard that. It's probably because I was hanging on to it for too long, right? Or wait, did I have it? I probably had it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not great. Alright, let's go catch us monster. There, I see him out there, I think. Pretty sure that's him. Tricky. A large cage is suspended over the water. A small receptacle is floating underneath. Let's load the trap. You should probably move away. Yes, I should. Oh boy. Fire! Fire! Nice. Direct hit. And down he goes. Inside is the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. Let's take that. Please and thank you. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Nice. And now we don't have to worry about this guy uh, again, I don't think. Let's see. Um... I guess we may as well just head back directly. I think we needed one of these, didn't we? At least one of them. Maybe more. Let's just catch two to be safe. Oh! Hello. Do you mind dropping your tentacles for me? Thank you. Oh! Okay. Uh, what? What was that? Okay. Well, we lost some of our explosives, which is not great. Um, 
That's kind of unfortunate. Alright, are we going the right way? Oh, what? Uh, we are not going the right way. Hang on. Hang on. Alright, let's get this uh, banishment thing. Ooh, it's not quite ready yet. Well, it's almost morning, so that's good. We actually spent a whole night uh, in the water, which is a first for us. Uh-oh. Our light went out. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of struggle, struggle bus here. Well, let's tell the airman, and then we'll call it an episode. <laughs> I have a creature trap to show you, or a corpse. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. All right, now the traps... The first one. Uh, okay, you don't need these. Okay, what about the second one? And you don't need those other. Great. Well, uh, let's take a quick break here. Maybe I will go and uh, and catch the rest of the fish in my own time, just so that when we come back, we can be ready to proceed with the baiting and destruction of the last two mine suckers. So. A lot going on here, but we're having a good time and we're making progress. And that's all that matters, right? And uh, with that, I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.